My name is Corbin Palmer. I'm in 12th grade and I've been in Yes Leads for four years. I chose to join Yes Leads because uh, I've seen firsthand uh, the effect alcohol can have on people and how it can change who they are. My name is Sam Johnson. It's my first year and I decided to join because I wanted to be a good influence on younger kids. My favorite part about being a Yes Leader is spending time with the younger kids and knowing that I have I can influence them positively. I liked going to Yes Ignites at the beginning of the year. That was really fun. Today we did an uh, activity called Choices and Consequences. And when you do it, you give kids slips of paper and they write down important things in their lives. And you read scenarios where they get involved in drugs or alcohol or bad decision making. And they have to choose uh, one of the one of the important things in their lives that they're going to lose from the bad choices and it shows to them how bad decisions can lead to loss of important things in their lives. When alcohol and other drugs, drugs become the focus in your life, other things become less and less important. Sometimes we give them, sometimes we give them and other times they're taken away from us. Every choice has a consequence. So we're going to come and take one from you. You guys don't get to choose. Really? Really, man. We did an activity called the spoon and penny activity where we had one of we had the kids line up and they had to pick up the penny with the spoon and pass it along to each other. And then they did it another time with their non-dominant hand, and then they did it another time with their eyes closed. And it was to teach them like how things get harder when you're buzzed and when you're drunk. When we go in and give the presentations, the kids are usually happy and excited to see us because we're older than them and they look up to us. For me, they all really love me because my dad is a teacher in the class, but I think they look up to high schoolers a lot uh, because they see them at sporting events, they see them um, as being uh, someone to look up to because they're older and they do the cool things. and. I think it's the students' jobs, therefore, to uh, positively influence them and in making the right choices. The number one lesson I would want to pass on to younger kids is to not give in to peer pressure and to just do what you think is right. The key thing that I would like kids to learn from the ESLE presentation is to be themselves, not be influenced by others who will try to sway them down the wrong paths.